Night City punks. My name is Magnus Beastikiss, and I'm a fixer who specializes in natural bioware. Don't listen to those body sculptors, boosters, or borgs, baby. Contrary to Adam Smasher, meat is so much more rockin' than metal. So, what's the job? Play Cyberpunk 2077 with a controller and get jacked. A simple job for loads of abbies. Feel free to get it done quietly. Or with guns a-blazin'. Now time is money, so here are the deets. While stealthy, whenever you press your interact button like X or square, and whenever you save, if you want to target your core, do a core crunch. Just lean back and stabilize your upper body with your arms on your chair, and bring your knees to your chest and give it a nice little crunch. I save before and after every corner, a very lucrative way to earn those abbeys. If you want to target your legs and you're in a hurry to fortify those ankles, instead of a core crunch, stand into a calf raise whenever you press that interaction button or save. Now whenever you encounter a loading screen, crawl away from your seating apparatus, hop your feet onto it, and do as many push-ups as you can before that bar fills up. Then crawl on back. Now, loading screens can be short, so make the most out of this time. The candle that's two times as badass is two times more badass than the other candles around. That's what I always say. Typical loading screens are whenever you die, whenever you fast travel, or whenever you purposefully load like a million times to get that perfect playthrough. Whenever you're in a conversation or whenever you're hacking. If you want to target your core, just hold your legs out in front of you and tense that core. If you want to work on your flexibility and overall health, I would recommend stretching. This is very important, and I would never underestimate the importance of a good stretch. If you want to target your legs, stand up into a calf raise and hold the calf raise whenever in these conversations or hacking. Cutscenes can require the full attention, as we know, so whatever you can do with a controller in your hand is fair game. Now, if you are a runner and gunner, Whenever you press your interact button like X or square, and whenever you save, squat low to the ground and touch your controller, or do a calf raise, or squat low and then stand into a calf raise. And whenever you encounter that loading screen, just do three jumping burpees. If you can fit more, more power to you. If you're looking for something a little bit advanced, every time there's a loading screen, do a back bend, into a handstand, into a straddle, back into a handstand, back into a back bend, back into a standing position, and we're not done yet, go ahead and squat down and get your controller back. Now I know what you're thinking. And yes, there should be enough time during the loading screen. And with a little bit of practice and avoiding it altogether, you will be good to go. Now during conversations and while hacking, if you want to work on your core, play if you're a badass, because these puppies can be long enough to obliterate your soul after they're done with your body. But the abbeys aren't totally worth. If you want to target your legs, go ahead and hold a calf raise. If you want to work on your flexibility and overall health, again, highly recommend, just focus on your stretching. Whatever you want to stretch most, whatever ails you, go ahead and stretch it out. Or hold a low squat. Now this is a natural position for humans to be in, so it'll be painful at first because you're not used to it. But if you work on it and you work hard, you will feel so much better throughout your daily life just by simply working on your lowest squat. Whew. All right, now on to bonus content. There are some augments I would recommend if you want to be a next level merc. Resistance bands. My priority was to make a routine that you could do with nothing at all, but your home is truly your greatest gym if you will merely take the leap. I use resistance bands when I play to overload my shoulders. You can even use them to destroy your hips. So imagine a loading screen happens and you have a controller in your hand and you just, oop, oh, my shoulders, they're being worked out. Is this an accident? No, it's just that easy. The same concept, look, you can go right in front of you, you can go up top, you can go be below, you can also put it on your ankles and do the exact same thing. Just spread them out to activate and destroy your hips. And before I leave you, here are some tips. You will get used to standing. Get over it. 
You were meant to stand. Humans were meant to stand, especially with so many people working from home and sitting all the time. This is a good decision for you and a great decision for your body. For my chair ninjas out there, cover your seat in a towel. The last thing you want is a foul taint stink seeping into your cushions and hydrate. Keep water around and if you must, a poop bucket. And that's it, Chumba. Now all you need to do is get the job done in the abbeys are yours. Until fate next brings us together and never stop playing video games.